Hello everyone, welcome back to another video uh, and today things are getting quite uh, concerning now for uh, Storm Eunice which is expected to affect the UK during Friday. We've got Storm Dudley passing through now, the wind's quite strong even down here in the south you might be able to hear them in the background at times um, but now the attention is really turning to Eunice as it looks like things could be kind of a lot more severe here, uh, potentially even some dangerous, uh, danger to life impacts from this storm. Uh, so I'll really get into that in this video and this video will kind of now be focusing exclusively on Storm Eunice. Uh, uh, but this is a gr weather graphic I made about kind of an hour or so ago now and put it on my Twitter and it's kind of the updated forecast what I'm kind of expecting right now. I've been making these for the last I'd say kind of three days or so and you see this is the black line where I roughly expect is the current most likely track of of uh, the storm, storm units. It could kind of within this grey zone it could be anything within here and this current track could maybe by tomorrow shift a bit north or shift a bit south uh, depending on how things evolve but this is current most likely uh, track and then like I said the grey shading is other possible tracks uh, could definitely be within this kind of forecast envelope as well and then with this in this orange region so all of Wales uh, parts of northwest England uh, all of southern England the Midlands East Anglia Kent southeast England the south coast uh, Cornwall Devon and South Wales uh, sorry not South Wales uh, but kind of all of the southern UK and Wales is under this uh, kind of this orange area which I think is likely to see some of the strongest winds of the storm uh, of kind of around 60 to 70 miles an hour quite widely in land and now after these kind of upgrades we could even be seeing kind of 65 to 75 miles an hour uh, in land in some of these places I'll get into that into a bit uh, in a bit but uh, I updated this now to include this red kind of area for Cornwall Devon, South Wales and just kind of uh, parts of uh, Western England as well, a small area surrounding the Bristol Channel, a kind of Somerset re region, um, uh, Pembrokeshire there, uh, you, you get the point, South Wales and South West England, uh, which is likely to see 80 to 100 mile an hour gusts during Friday. Now the confidence has been increasing on this area, seeing some strong winds, but now it's kind of solid solidified uh, in a way. And I do genuinely think that we could see some some pretty strong winds uh, here uh, within kind of this region, potentially even a bit more than that. And I think t tomorrow the Met Office will probably issue some sort of red warning like this through this region. But this is my take. And then I think possibly I could I could see. Um, this kind of region extending a bit further like this into parts of southern England that also does look like it could see some strong maybe 70 to 80 mile an hour winds in this region uh, but I'll get into that into those kind of details um, now so this is uh, so this is storm uh, Dudley which I'm not going to be focusing on anymore I'm afraid we're going to be focusing on storm Eunice now exclusively we can see now we have this amber wind warning valid from 3am on Friday till 9pm on Friday and you can see storm Eunice may cause significant disruption uh, due to extremely strong winds on Friday there is a good chance of flying debris resulting in danger to life damage to buildings to homes is likely roads and bridges and railways are likely to close good chance for power cuts large waves falling branches and uprooted trees and it's quite kind of serious quite concerning even quite uh, dangerous now. We can see extremely strong winds have expected to develop over southwest England on Friday, spreading north and eastwards. And we can see increasing likelihood of 60 70 miles an hour widely inland here, and even 80 miles an hour inland in a few places. And then gusts around south uh, west Wales, southwest England. Uh, Bristol Channel, even 90 to 100 miles an hour possible. That's extremely concerning, and that's why, like I said, uh, I won't be surprised if kind of through. I kind of this region I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a red warning it kind of looks something like that at least tomorrow it could extend it a bit further inland but if we read through um, if we read through this text uh, sorry let me just close this if we read through this text you can see it's got a um, it's got a medium likelihood and a high impact and when we have that only in its small one increase in your likelihood will lead to a red warning so that's why i definitely think a red warning is possible we also do have yellow warnings for wind and snow and you can see snow heavy in places likely to develop on the northern edge of storm units uh, some places may see five centimeters of snow at low levels and then through hills and high ground 10 to 20 centimeters even 30 centimeters and i also would not be surprised to see a amber warning uh, I would not be surprised to see an amber warning kind of through this region as well, kind of through some of this high ground. I wouldn't be surprised to see an amber warning there because some snow totals are looking pretty significant. 
getting into those model uh, those models now we'll start with the GFS kind of the main model and you can see let's zoom into parts of the British Isles uh, and you can see here we have this low deepening uh, during Thursday night into Friday morning and you can see it's centered over kind of Ireland and with those strong winds around the southern western and eastern edges like this and then we get those strong winds transferring uh, through the, the Bristol Channel especially that's where I'm quite concerned of the strongest winds and then through into the Midlands and into southern England as well then exiting out kind of East Anglia into the North Sea and those strong winds could extend quite far north as well possibly as far north as Manchester uh, Looking at the ensembles, this gives us a better idea of certainty. We like to get kind of lots of different uh, solutions or possible ideas in the forecast so we have kind of better confidence of what could occur. You can see where we have these kind of uh, black lines closer together and similar, that's where we've got high confidence. And look at this, we've got very good confidence now. All the GFS individual members are now showing a low kind of within this region, especially focused through part of northern England, this like track like this. And if I show you the expected storm tracks, you can see they're, they're quite close together now which indicates good certainty, good confidence uh, kind of through the track will be across the southern areas of Ireland and then kind of through the Irish Sea uh, and then across northern England. Uh, there's still possible other solutions and then we have the strongest winds to the south of that. Looking at the ECMWF model, the European model here, you can see a similar thing. The centre of the low crossing through southern Ireland with very strong winds on its back edge. And then those will be making their way uh, into the uh, parts of England and Wales especially. Look at that. Uh, and the same idea here, I'm particularly concerned about the Bristol Channel. We could see wind 100 miles an hour, it, maybe even a bit more. Potentially some storm surge there with a the high tide, large waves funneling into this region. But then look at that widely, 70 to 80 miles an hour on this run. And if we take a look at the forecast satellite imagery, uh, you can see here we have uh, these interesting... Oh, sorry. We have these interesting... Uh, these interesting kind of features on the satellite imagery let me get out this pen right here uh, and you can see we have the kind of this banding this kind of hook if you will and that is potentially suggestive of maybe something quite rare called a sting jet and sting jets occur in only specific type of uh, of cyclones of low pressure systems um called kaiser or sorry shapira kaiser uh, uh, cyclone cyclones and they're quite rare but it's basically sting jets before i get into it they are areas of very very uh, kind of strong very low localized strong winds like this so you can see for example this is a diagram and they very localized but often produce very damaging winds those are the cause of the strong winds and the great summer 1987 the storm in october 2013 and you need this particular type of cyclone uh, like i said the kaiser or shapira kaiser model which it's kind of the key difference is that it has a this what's called a frontal fracture, uh, which allows it to develop a sting jet, uh, and especially if you, as it goes kind of this through this stage three, you often get a sting jet like this. Um, and what this will be going through stage three as it crosses into the UK, so that means there is the possibility of a sting jet, and why this is so significant because this possibly could be signs of a sting jet, which would be very damaging. Next model to look at is the Icon model. You can see here, this one is particularly dangerous. I'll zoom in on England for this one, England and Wales and Ireland. And you can see, you see this one's passing a bit further south than other models, bringing some strong winds to southwest Ireland. But then look at that, very strong winds to with south Wales and especially to southwest England. And then there's very strong winds spreading through southern England as well. Look at that crazy 100 mile an hour winds inland through parts of England. Extremely concerning. 80 to 90 miles an hour winds here and 70 to 80 miles now at spreading eastwards uh, though i must stress this model is probably over the top uh, with its wind gusts it's kind of frequently known for being over the top with its wind gusts so i would say that through this region it is showing there is a potential that we could see winds as strong as this it's not likely but there the potential is there this could be uh, something that could occur um one more model on this website oh wow oh wow sorry uh craziness right here wow um this is my live reaction, I guess. But the latest model has come out. Oh, wow, this is crazy. Okay, um, <laughs> basically the latest model is, has just come out and developed a very rare sting jet across parts of England. Wow, I can't believe this. Um, wowzers. Okay, so the late, this is the latest model from the Arpeg model. This develops very widely, uh, 70 to 80 mile an hour wind gusts through kind of South Wales, Southwest England. And then I was just talking about sting jets. The latest model comes out and what a coincidence, sting jet right here. Unbelievable. 
So on this latest model guidance, suggesting possibility of a sting jet bringing localised 80 to 90 mile an hour winds through this corridor. This is just one model run, just one model, but showing the potential is there. Okay, wow, kind of crazy. Uh, okay, so this is another model right here. Uh, similar thing, gusts of 60 to 70 miles an hour widely, potentially even 80 miles an hour in land, parts of Wales as well. This is more focusing on southern England. And now I'll be looking at the latest UKV model uh, right here. And you can see this, let me just change the colour of this colour picker, maybe I should do white or something. So you can see here, this is a UKV model via netweather.tv, actually let's change this to black, sorry everyone. Um, but basically, this is the latest one, you can see we have those 90 to 100 mile an hour ghosts, uh, not ghosts, gusts spreading through the Bristol Channel, parts of South Wales, southwestern England. Uh, and you can see those spread then further inland, uh, like so. You can see quite concerning here, those are 70 to 80 mile an hour gusts widely through southern England. And then also note this feature bringing 80, 90, 100 mile an hour gusts up through the Irish Sea. And then that feature transfers through the uh, kind of the North Midlands east into East Anglia. And those very strong winds exit off like this. Um, this is uh, one potential scenario, it's not definitely guaranteed to happen. And then if we take a look at the Met Office. Um, the Met Office uh, ensembles, MoGreps from the, the com. Taking a look at the London ones, wow, well, as you can see, uh, the closer the lines are together, the better because the confidence, and you can see good confidence between 70 uh, to 85 mile, 75 to 85 mile an hour on the gusts on this one. Very extreme. Let's take a look at some other places. You can see same thing here, 75 to 90 mile an hour gusts. Birmingham, a bit lower. Let's look at Cardiff. That's going to be quite severe. Wow. Into near 100 mile an hour gusts, confidence on that now, 80 to 100 mile an hour gusts, South Wales. So you get the picture, very strong wind gusts. Taking a look at some uh, postal stamps, um, this kind of gives you an idea of all the scenarios. Looks like this might have been updated, I'm not 100% but it looks like it might have been updated. Uh, no, maybe not. No, I don't think so. But you can see now, many of these have been bring 80 mile an hour winds inland to southern England, 90 miles an hour there. 100 miles an hour there, 90 miles an hour there. So you get the picture. Very severe winds um, are now potent likely, especially through southwestern England and Wales, but also through southern England. Pretty exceptional stuff. And then we also have the, the uh, UK Met model to look out for. If it works, you can see it brings some very strong winds here. 90 to 100 miles an hour through the Bristol Channel. Like I said, the risk of storm surges that pushes through. And then 80 to 90 mile an hour gusts through southern England. And then continuing 80 miles an hour gusts through the Midlands and Southern England. And then also note this feature here could be quite uh, quite kind of a sting in the tail for parts of uh, northwest Wales and northwestern England. And then those exit like that. Similar model, UKV, uh, kind of based off the same thing. And you can see it shows a similar picture here of 70 to 80 mile an hour gusts quite widely inland. And that's kind of it for today. Sorry, there has been a few almost bloopers, I would call them. But for some very unexpected model output has just occurred, specifically this. And then also, I think I accidentally showed it in my other window, which was up. But anyway, thank you for watching. Very dangerous storm. Very concerning. Could be some extreme impacts from this. Potentially one of the worst storms in southern England for decades. So please stay up to date with the forecast. And if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Thank you.